E verb forms. Generally, the meaning of the E verb is to do something for another person. The E verb is also the passive form of a mag verb and seldom of an um verb. Forming E verb forms. For verb roots beginning with consonants, the prefix E or its variant, ipag, is attached to all forms and tenses. The infix in is attached to past and present tenses. Example, sulat, infinitive, isulat, imperative, isulat, past, isinulat, present, isinusulat, future, isusulat. Example, sama, infinitive, isama, imperative, isama, past, isinama, present, isinasama, future, isasama. Example, sulat, infinitive, ipagsulat, imperative, ipagsulat, past, ipinagsulat, present, ipinagsusulat, and future, ipagsusulat. For verb roots beginning with vowels and the consonants H, L, Y, and W, the prefix E is attached to all forms and tenses, and the infix in becomes infix ni in both past and present tenses. Example, hanap, infinitive, ihanap, imperative, ihanap, past, inihanap, present, iniahanap, future, iahanap. Example, luto, infinitive, iluto, imperative, iluto, past, iniluto, present, ililuluto, and future, iluluto. Sentence patterns for e-verbs. An e-verb is used only when an active um or mag verb has a direct object in a sentence. First sentence pattern. When the e-verb has an active form in um, the indirect object introduced by the prepositions sa, para sa, kai, and para kai becomes the subject. Bumili ng isda ang babae para sa kanyang ina. Ibinili ng babae ng isda ang kanyang ina. The woman bought fish for her mother. Bumasa ng aklat ang guro para kay Joe. Ibinasa ng guro ng aklat si Joe. The teacher read a book for Joe. Second sentence patterns. When the e-verb has its active form in mag or in its variant form nag in the past tense, the direct object becomes the subject. Nagluto siya ng pagkain para sa anak. Iniluto niya ang pagkain para sa anak. She or he cooked the food for her or his child. Nag-ayos ng silid si Benjamin. Inayos ni Benjamin ang silid. Benjamin arranged the room. Third sentence patterns. When the um and mag verbs have similar meanings, the e-verb follows the first sentence pattern. Bumasa ng aklat ang guro para sa bata. Nagbasa ng aklat ang guro para sa bata. Ibinasa ng aklat ng guro ang bata. The teacher read the book to the child. Examples of e-verbs. Ihanap, ibili, ibasa, ihiram, isulat, iluto, ituro, ihulog, itapon, ibigay. Iwala, idagdag, 